bass music movement and the bass music awards have flown all the way over to Croatia to hit Outlook, one of Europe's biggest bass music festivals. Ten arenas, beach parties, boat parties and hell of a lot of bass. Let's do this. So Dub Effects, not only probably the best looking guy in bass, he's probably the most well travelled too. Yeah. <laughs> you got a lot of stamps in that passport, right? Yeah, um, I got a European passport, so I don't really get stamps oh, right. when I come through Europe, so Damn. I'm half Italian. <laughs> but yeah, no, yeah, I've been in quite a few countries in the last five, six years. Yeah, so um, I'm familiar with your videos, but some of our viewers might not be. So do you want to talk to us about how things started? Because I know you came from a uh, kind of, I wouldn't say a busking background, but you've done a lot of busking to get your music heard by the people, haven't you? Definitely, yeah. I mean, before I started street performing, I was playing in loads of different jazz bands, reggae bands, hip hop bands. Uh, heavy metal bands, I was singing and you know, um, toasting with DJs and stuff and then about 2006 I started, learn, I learned how to beatbox and use a loop station and I started street performing, just street performing from 2006 till about 2009 and then someone filmed some videos of me on the street, put it on YouTube and they went super viral. Um, collectively they got about 150 million views. Wow. And uh, since then I've been getting offers from a lot of festivals and, and to go on tour and all over the world. So yeah, that now 2014, it's been a while. Yeah, absolutely. And the, the thing I love about your performances and your videos is the, it's the organic kind of element and the way that you connect with the people and the music. And it comes from the heart, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean it also comes from the street performing, learning how to make people who aren't interested be interested a lot of people practice in their bedrooms and like you know you can't really one hour on the street is like five months in the bedroom you know what wow. i mean like because you learn really quickly what works what doesn't work what gets the right reaction out of people um how to sell your music how to present yourself and it chisels away all the fat because you're practicing in front of an audience absolutely uh yeah whereas if you just rehearse you know for years in a bedroom and then you go out and play on stage you're still scared shitless when you go in front of the crowd you know yeah so, I've been in Croatia now for two days and I'm getting homesick. Do you get homesick? No, um, my mum and dad would uh, split up when I was like eight years old and I moved to Italy for a couple of years when I was a kid and I'd miss my dad and then I moved back to Australia with my dad from, from when I was about 13 to I was a young adult and then, so I kind of got used to not like not being in the same place and not being with my family. So no, I don't miss home ever. I mean, no. I miss my home when I think about it, but if I don't think about it, not really. Yeah, so you're pretty much constantly on the road, right? Yeah, I've like nine months living out of a suitcase this year. Yeah, so hats off to you, man. No, cheers. <laughs> cool, so we're here with Ed from the Dub Smugglers. Um, and I hear that when you arrived, there was a, a truck digging a bowl for your sound system to fit speakers in and to make the acoustics sound better. That's, that's good service, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, basically, uh, over the last four years, uh, Outlook have really helped us sort of try and get our set up how we really want. And at a lot of festivals, you don't usually get that. You have to sort of deal with how they want you to set up. But yeah, I've never actually seen like a JCB dig it out gravel <laughs> just so we could put our speakers in place it was pretty funny yeah definitely so like you, you've, you've been to outlook a few times and this sound system from watching you guys perform yesterday is immense <laughs> the, the sound that's going on out there is hard to kind of describe unless you feel it yeah, <laughs> basically man. Uh, so four years ago we got to come to outlook by being bus reps 
Right. Um, so uh, by sort of like doing that, and then we got our sound here the next year, and then we sort of invested everything that we could into the sound system and built it and built it. It's been sort of like a seven year progress to get it to where it is. But yeah, um, basically we can provide bass that'll make your nose tickle. <laughs> yeah, tell us about like the, the sound system culture, like what's happening in Holland at the moment? Uh, in Holland, it's like at the moment, there's a lot of police raids and stuff like that, but like five, six years ago when I was really into the illegal scene, it was booming, we had like parties of three, four thousand people. In Holland it, it was legal to squat then, so uh, a lot of squatting parties. That's all changed. Yeah, it's all changed, bro. Like they, they, they put down laws, it's it's done. The squatting yeah. thing is done. Oh no. So the, the party scene changed a lot. Yeah. Now it's a lot of outside parties. And uh, yeah, there's that's that's basically it. Yeah, yeah. So it's it changed a lot, and, and a lot of sound systems go to festivals now, and like like the the dub smugglers and stuff. They like, you know, they do festivals and stuff. It's more. So literally, do like the sound systems travel the world? Yeah. With their sound systems yeah, it's, and their it's crew. More traveling, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you could tell us a little bit more why you wanted to buy the sub pack, and you know how it's kind of enhanced your gaming and music experiences, that'd be wonderful. Well, I mean, it's not a, it's not always about hearing with uh, with video games sometimes if you feel it I mean you have a, a little bit more of an edge on the competition you know uh, when you're gaming you hear footsteps you hear the, the shots uh, you hear all the all the different plays uh, and as well as music uh, production it, you feel it if you're if you're in a small area you know you have neighbors you don't want them to get annoyed with you you feel it as opposed to rumbling you know tearing the house down that kind yeah. of stuff so you can literally do your gaming, produce a bit of music, enjoy music, headphones on, and feel those bass vibrations. Exactly, and they also have the uh, the mobile version, which is a backpack you can watch down the street. Feel like you're in a club dancing. Amazing. It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Um, we've yeah. got to represent on. Uh, we've had our own boat party. Yeah. We've been on Mongo stage. Yeah. I've just on got Mongo to replace Flo well. down on that boat party, which was a big touch yeah. for me. Yeah. Uh, Hatcher again tearing it up. Yeah. Jay Kenzo swindle. Such a lad. It's my yeah. first time out here, so yeah. Yeah. absolutely buzzing. It's all fresh yeah. and new. All it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. All fresh and new. Yeah. 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 And it looks big. Yeah. 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 That's a lovely festival. I've been there a few times myself. I reckon okay. you can start your own genre. Mustache music. Moustache, yeah. I think it's really cute. Three musketeers. Can we zoom in a little bit on that moustache? Because it's beautiful. Are you going to grow it thicker than that, or is that the limit? I don't think I. I don't think I really can. <laughs> Which is quite depressing. <laughs> like, basically, yeah. Should I draw it on? Yeah. Go for it. Go for the. And a little. There you this go. Looks that looks amazing. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.